Hello, this is Clayton Balmas. I'm your teacher today here in our audio classroom here at Synmax University, available at synmaxperformancelubricants.com. Today, uh, we're in part four, which is our racing and commercial coolant system. And as I encourage you, look at our other sessions. Uh, this is an important one. It's called electrolysis and the effects upon components and performance. So I uh, hope you enjoy listening to this as much as I enjoy sharing it to you. So uh, let's go for a ride. Here's a quote from the United States Department of Energy. Electricity is the flow of charges. I see perfectly pure water without mineral impurities will not conduct electricity. Many, many minerals and gases will readily dissolve in water. I mean, they'll, they'll be in there. It is the presence of these minerals and gases that allows water to conduct electricity. See, even if you have purified water, you have some of this in there. It's not totally eliminated. But, you know, it's better to have like only 10 or 20 percent instead of 100 percent, right? You see, when these salts are dissolved in the water, they form ions, okay? And it's these ions that carry an electrical charge. See, that's the natural um, electrolytes that's within the water. This is why salt water is a good conductor of electricity. Now remember, the salts stay dissolved in the cool water, but are released at the temperatures of about 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Electrolysis, here's the definition of electrolysis. The electrolysis of water is the decomposition of water into oxygen and hydrogen gas due to an electric current being passed through the water. Okay, it, it breaks it apart. The process by which we generate hydrogen and oxygen from the water is called electrolysis. So the word lysis means to dissolve or break apart. So the word electrolysis literally means to break something apart, in this case water, using electricity. Electrolysis occurs when the coolant becomes acidic. This acidic condition causes the coolant to carry an electrical charge. The voltage is held and will never be dispersed, so the coolant needs replacement immediately. So what's this mean? If you have your street vehicle, your everyday driver, that's why you have to change your coolant every two years. Okay, to help this. Also, uh, we're going to get into this about when the glycol becomes acidic. Now you say, Clayton, I got a race car. Who cares? Well, if you're running mineral tap water in there, uh, I, I don't care what anybody says, these minerals are going to break down everything. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. Electrolysis occurs when the coolant becomes acidic. An acidic environment creates the salts, which increase the voltage conductivity. See, when the salts are there, and then and then it becomes acidic, it's it's just a turbocharged environment. The acidic condition, like a corrosive battery acid, causes the coolant to carry an electrical charge. Electrolysis also decomposes coolant system components. See, the other thing you have is when you have two dissimilar metals, like Aluminium really carries an electric charge, or iron doesn't. So it's going to have this carrying an electrical charge to a ground, right? So when you have two dissimilar metals like aluminum heads and an iron block, that really, again, multiplies the situation. Electricity within the coolant also comes from a couple of different sources. Static electricity is coming from the water friction against the two dissimilar metals, like we shared, aluminium and iron. And that is another reason why you have to have an advanced chemistry treatment because it will coat to reduce the static friction. Okay, you have to have that chemistry treatment. Today's modern racing engines or even our modern street engines that we have today or commercial engines with computer sensors and fuel injection is a complicated electrical environment. Why? Because the motor is used as a ground forcing electrical voltage to flow through the block, all right? So if you have the waters and minerals, it's going to capture the voltage. 
see here here's kind of a summary regular water or tap water with the minerals in it that haven't been purified out will have the salts released in them and then in time those salts carry electricity as we mentioned and will have electrolysis now, electrolysis is the breaking down of the coolant in the water as the gases and the salts are released then it creates an acidic environment this acidic environment then is primed to receive an electrical charge just like a battery acid now if you have an antifreeze then the coolant will break down and then or the water will break down and it will cause a decomposition of the components of material within the coolant system and it will lower your heat transfer efficiency and the component life see the answer is as we say not letting that stuff in our neighborhood right right out of the box you start with a 7.0 purified water with an advanced chemical treatment and this chemical science is more than one thing it's it's a variety of chemistries will help the acidic control and the electrolysis from starting because when you eliminate the salts and you have proper chemistry you will greatly reduce and eliminate the corrosive process within the coolant system you see the reason a premium chemistry science and water science treatment will help fight electrolysis is that it will contain an advanced acid stabilizer and neutralizer technology to help the pH balance stay consistent furthermore it will have a chemical technology that will coat and insulate the motor excuse me the metal surfaces so if the surfaces are are insulated or coated then you don't have that static that's going to happen from the water moving past it it's going to move past easier so you have less static taking place so if you have less static taking place it will help prevent the electrical voltage current process from occurring see it's more than just one thing so uh, we're almost kind of finished with our series here on the next presentation we're going to talk about all weather and antifreeze gee whiz we just talked about glycol and um, and we're going to talk about all weather maintenance and performance so in summary to help prevent the electrolysis um, from taking place you need a combination of a purified water with an advanced water science chemistry found within the Synmax water cooler products so one of the resolutions for this is we've got our Synmax water cooler uh, system treatment this here is the concentrate and uh, inside you'll be able to um, have all the chemistries that you need you can mix you need to mix this with purified water or if you've got a 50 50 glycol in your antifreeze that's great or if in your racing system and you got the good 7.0 water you can mix it right straight in and you'll have all the advanced scientific formulation additives that you need here we have the water cooler premix it's a one gallon jug it has the exact chemistry mixture with 7.0 purified water. Now the applications on this are very simple. You can use it 100% direct in your racing system. Uh, you also can use it for all weather. You can mix it a one to one ratio, one gallon of premix to one gallon of glycol for your all weather antifreeze needs. Use it in gasoline, diesel, or flex fuel. And furthermore, uh, you can use it in your intercooler for your turbocharger or supercharger. Here we are at the end of our presentation on electrolysis and the effects upon components and performance. Remember, electrolysis is nothing to play with. And if you have a racing application, just know that your chemistry is going to be multiplied about four times because of the RTMs that you're going through. So I hope that we're able to share with you uh, for long-term antifreeze and uh, for racing applications how to help you out. So this is Clayton Balmas with Synmax University uh, in our audio classroom here at SynmaxPerformanceLubricants.com and I want to thank you for our time together. I look forward to seeing you at our next session. Please check out our other 
uh, presentations to give you some more thought on uh, how to build a better mousetrap with a coolant system. So, good day. For technical test and brochure information on how the Aerospace Advantage for Motorsports can work with your race team or other commercial requirements, please visit us at SynMax Performance Lubricants dot com.